Hey guys, it is April 4th, so happy Saturday. Mm, we're not really going to do anything today. It's just going to be a chill in the house day. Um, we've been outside every day this week clearing our new lot. And the pollen is starting to get to us. So we're just having a chill day inside in the air conditioner. And we're going to watch some movies and play some Zelda. And honestly, it's going <clears throat> to so... I have started reading a new book, or started reading Color Me In, and I'm loving it. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday or not. Hmm. But I am going to be putting my old, my, not old, but um, a Dollar Tree haul that I bought back in February and was going to upload <laughs> this month. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put that as today's, and I will see y'all tomorrow for day six. Hopefully I'll get a little bit of footage. If not, I'll show y'all some mail that I've gotten in the, that, some boxes and packages that I've gotten in the mail recently. I can't talk. I just had a lemonade Girl Scout cookie, and the tanginess is in my throat, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm coming at you with another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, this one has a shit ton of books in it. I went to a Dollar Tree that I don't normally go to and their book section was massive and falling off the shelves. I had to pick a couple up off the floor. Books wise, book wise, not shelves, but books off the floor because people were not, I had to pick a couple things up off the floor so I wouldn't run them over. This Dollar Tree was freaking messy and busy. So, I'm going to show y'all the books first to get them out of the way. I'm not going to go into much detail of the books in this video. I'm going to have another book haul video coming maybe at the end of the month or sometime in April. I'm not sure yet because I already got a February book haul already up on my channel. So, I picked them up because I've heard about them on YouTube and I've seen them in, on and some emails that I've gotten and a couple were uh, offered to me during blogging for books that little program that was being that was being run by Penguin Random House a couple years ago and then they shut it down but the first book I'm just gonna pick up right off the top I'm not gonna go in any particular order and then after I show you all the books I have another bag full of stuff that is not book related so if you don't want to see the books if you don't care about the books go to this number right here um and that'll be the the stuff but yeah so the first book is the wanderers by meg howery i've heard this talk i've heard um emily fox talk about this and it's got a astronaut with a red umbrella it's a transcendent, cross-cultural, and cross-planetary journey into the mysteries of space and self. And so if this, this is good and appropriate, then I'll let uh, Ariana read it because she likes space. If it's appropriate. Keyword. This book, they had a couple of copies of this particular book. And then all of them were ripped in the same spot. So I don't know what happened with that but that is Amanda Wakes Up by uh, Allison Camarota I think that's how you say it Camarota um, this was one of the books that was offered to me on blogging for books a couple years ago and I've always been intrigued by the red pajamas or pantsuit I think it's pajamas yeah because it says Amanda Wakes Up so uh, it's an eye-opening glimpse into the TV news trenches from one who's had to navigate them backwards and in and heels. That's by Samantha B. House host of Full Frontal with Samantha B. And author of I Know I Am, But What Are You? So, it's about a uh, TV personality who lands her dream job at a certain news station, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. That's what I got from the first sentence of the synopsis. And these all came from Dollar Tree and they will have other store stickers on there. The next one, it looks like a legal thriller or a crime thriller. I've been 
so interested in thrillers lately and I've been wanting to read a lot of mysteries and thrillers. So this one is The Mentor by Lee Matthew Goldberg and it says a thriller and it's Kyle Broder, Broder has achieved his lifelong, lifelong dream of becoming an editor at a major publishing house. So it's not close enough. Um, yeah. So this might be good. I don't know when this came out. Uh, let's check. First edition, June 2017. So it's not that old. You can find like a good or recently published books between one and three years at the Dollar Tree. The most recent book I found was Hum If You Don't Know the Words and that came out in 2018 and I hauled it in 2019. So. Go check your Dollar Trees. If y'all are tight on a budget for books, go to Dollar Tree. They have some good ones. I will link my um, video for most popular YA books that I found at Dollar Tree. And trust me, it's <gasps> worthy. So the next book, Target, clearly didn't want anymore because it has a Target sticker on it. And that is Cartwheel by Jennifer Dubois. And it is... Uh, the author of Partial History of Lost Causes. And it's by Random House. It has a Random House reader circle on it. And it says, When Lily Hayes arrives in Buenos Aires for her semester abroad, she is enchanted by everything she encounters. The handsome man next door. Uh, so it's, uh, it was a finalist for the New York Public Library Young Lions Fiction Award. Hmm. So... And the uh, uh, cartwheel, Target cartwheel, that's that what was throwing me off. I was about to call this book Target Cartwheel. Yeah, I'm dumb. Floppy, and it's got a lot of words and small text. Uh, this one's going to take a while. Oh, okay. So it says, although the themes of this book were loosely inspired by the story of Amanda Knox, this is entirely a work of fiction. None of the characters are real. None of, the, none of the events ever happened. Nothing in the book should be read as a factual statement about real life events or people. Okay. So it was based on uh, or inspired by Amanda Knox and the murder in Italy of her roommate. Okay. I'm intrigued some more. The book bands done went out the window. Alright. Second and last bag of books. Here's some ASMR for you. Okay. Next book. It's a big one. It is Moon Glow by Michael Chabon. Chabon? Chabon? And I don't know what this sticker is from, but I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, not six ninety nine. I would not pay six ninety nine for a book I haven't read. I would pay a dollar for a book I haven't read, obviously, but I would not go above a dollar. Um, is the one hundred notable books, the New York Times Book Review Award thing. Um, like I said, this was another book that was offered to me on Blogging for Books, and oh. End pages are gorgeous. It's 1989, fresh from the publication of his first novel, The Mysteries of Pittsburgh, Michael Chabon traveled to his mother's home in Oakland, California to visit his terminally ill grandfather. Tongue loosened by powerful painkillers, memory stirred by the imminence of death, Chabon's grandfather shared recollections and told stories the younger man had never heard before, uncovering bits and pieces of a history long buried and forgotten. I'm going to have to look more into this. Because I've always been intrigued by the matches. Hmm. Yeah, I'm interested even more. Wait a minute. <sighs> mm. I got two copies. I bought two of the same book. Okay, so that book went into the donation bag, but I'm keeping this one. It's not ripped, but this one looks dirty, but 
Oh well. Um, yeah, same concept. Duh, same book. Anyways, I found a shit ton of copies of We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, the deluxe edition. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed. It's signed. What? Bad, 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 what? Sammy! It's signed. I want it. Seriously? I bought a signed book for a dollar. Wait, you're still filming? And I just mm -hmm. got it? I bought a signed book for a dollar. What? What? At Dollar Tree. What's it? Run! Don't walk. What's it called? We were liars. Hopefully and it's like a deluxe it. edition. Oh, if I don't like it, I'm gonna keep it anyways. I keep my signed books even though I don't like them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But oh, duh, uh, yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm happy now. I did not realize it was signed. X O E Lockhart. Just go to your Dollar Tree. Go look. I swear. And then the last book is a book. A fourth book in a series. Didn't see book one, two, or three. But I've been interested in this series for the longest time. And that is Manners and Mutiny by Gail Carriger. It is a book four in the Finishing School series. It's about these finishing school girls who are uh, prima donna, not prima donnas, but um, just, uh, Victorian, and they learn espionage and assassination and stuff like that. So, here's the first three books, Etiquette and Espionage, Curtsies and Conspiracies, and Waistcoats and Weaponry. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Are you ready to graduate from finishing school? So, this is the last book. I don't care. Uh, I had to grab it. I saw it and I grabbed it. Um, because it'll make me want to read the series even more. Can't believe I bought two of the same book, but then I got a signed book, so it cancels each other out. But okay. Last bag. Um, Addie. I was shopping with Addie, and she was wanting to grab everything in the store, so she got a little uh couch sofa love seat for her big ass Barbie dream house that she got for Christmas two years ago. So, you want this? Okay. Um, Sammy has been needing some new socks. And so she got some corgi butt socks. Which is super adorable because it's got a heart on the butt. <laughs> and uh, it's three pairs. So corgi butt, plain white, and then a rainbow stripe. So, here you go. Um, she's also been wanting some more mechanical pencils. She's not going to get all of them. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick some colors. Okay, but yeah. I got these in checkout. Addie also... Got a hard cream catcher. Mm-hmm. It's a rainbow. Mm -hmm. She had the option of an actual rainbow or the heart. And the heart was the prettiest, so. Okay, go. And then, you got this? Yes. Kids obsessed with animals. She wants to save the world. And, and uh, I figured a little animal collection. Okay. Oh, if you think so. Okay. Right and, then, and it's a wild animal. It's a cheetah, jaguar, a jaguar. leopard. Jaguar, you can, ch jaguar. I don't know these things. Jaguar. I thought you liked cheetahs. They didn't have a cheetah. How dare they? Okay, but it's jaguar. Rainforest. Even yeah. though it's a Af it shows African animals. They had lions and elephants and giraffes. You saw Addie with the giraffes. Jaguars are not in Africa. But They're in South America. It's fine. Okay. Like it. And then... Dang, how come you got three things? Four. And the last thing she got is the Wonder Woman. No, no, I actually picked these two, and you said, I'll get that one for you, and then you picked out this. So technically, I picked out two things, and you picked I out know. two things for me. 
Hey, I can share the um pink one with you. Okay. That's okay. A good idea. Well, she got a little Wonder Woman action figure. She's <laughs> obsessed with Wonder Woman. So, if you've seen my last Dollar Tree haul, you would have seen I bought two shirts. Dollar Tree had like a, almost a whole complete aisle full of shirts. And so, I got a ton of light colored shirts for my mini me, Ariana, because I made a purchase at Ab Abercrombie and Fitch for my kids. I got them some um, clothes for their capsule wardrobes, and it came with free fabric markers. So, I got this pink one. I got a blue that is like the same, almost the same as the shirt I'm wearing now. But I'll, this was the color that the shirt was before I started washing it. And so, yep. And they're all the same size, youth small. And they're all, uh,. Fruit of the Loom. They're, they're not small. They're extra small. Yeah. Fruit of the Loom. And then got this yellow, which is super pretty. My my kids don't have any yellow shirts besides Sammy, and it has Beauty and the Beast on it, but they have no plain shirts, so I'm glad I got these ones. And it's so pretty. And the last shirt I got is this orange one. Super pretty. I'm just gonna let them go wild with the fabric markers. Kind of like the doodle bears that were in the 90s. Draw on them, put them in the washing machine that washed was right out. I had one of those. I loved it and I still have it. That was it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Have you ever found a signed book at your Dollar Tree? Do you buy books at your Dollar Tree? Uh, if you do shop with me, like pan over the book section and, uh, yeah. Because that's, I love watching shop with me's and they pan over the book section. And I love seeing what books have not been at my Dollar Tree and then I pick out books that I really want. And I'm like, oh my god, that's there and that's there and that's there. And oh my god, is that there? Really? That just came out last month. Not really, but anyways, yeah. Let me know if you do Dollar Tree Shop Me's and pan over to the um, book sections. But I'll see you in my next video. I need to go geek out over that signed book.